What is the perimeter of the shape? Each square in the grid is a one by one centimeter square. So all we have to do is add up the lengths of these blue segments right over here. And they, they put it on this nice grid and each box here is one by one. So we could, let's say we start up here. We want to make sure that we only go to where we started and we don't double count. So we, this perimeter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 centimeters long. So it is 24 centimeters. The other way we could have thought about this is you could have looked at the length of each of these sides. So this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus, what is this, 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2, and you would have also gotten 24 centimeters. Let's do a couple more of these. What is the perimeter of the square? So once again, it's the length of all of the segments that define the outside boundary of the square. And by definition of square, all of its sides are equal. So you have four sides that are all seven meters long. So you could say it's seven meters plus seven meters plus seven meters plus seven meters, or it's four times seven meters or 28 meters. 28 meters. Let's do one more. What is the perimeter of the regular pentagon? So it's a regular pentagon, which means all of its sides have the same length, and they give us the side of one. The length of one is two, so all of the sides have length two. So it's going to be two plus two plus two plus two plus two, or essentially five twos. Or another way of thinking about it is it's five times two, which is going to be, which is going to be 10. You have five sides of this pentagon. Each of those sides are two units long, so two units long times five sides is going to be 10 units.